friends, Laura here to talk with you today about three simple considerations when choosing the kind of yoga work that you want to do. Now the first and what I think is the most important or I feel is the most important is doing work that is in alignment with my values, with your values, um, and goals. So often teachers look for a studio that's nearby, a studio that pays well, or a time that works for them. And yes, those logistics do matter. However, there's a willingness that comes when we feel called to do the work. So I'm willing to go a little bit further or work for a different amount if it's work that I find truly meaningful. And the other side of that coin is knowing what work is out of alignment for you or what your deal breakers are. So for example, when I first started teaching, I really wanted to be a part of a certain teacher training program. So I went to teach at their studios and I did not like where I did not feel aligned with the fitness aspect and it didn't fit for me that I wasn't allowed to own um, or some of the restraints or things that were removed from the spiritual part of the practice, which for me, you can't remove the spiritual part of the practice, uh, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, however, that was something that I could do for a short period of time to reach my long-term goal. Now, another example was when I was invited to teach ganja yoga um, and no judgment on that. However, for me, that's absolutely out of alignment with what I do. I worked intensely with people in recovery. Um, and for me, yoga is about connecting and substances for me disconnect us from that that higher self. So that's number one, how to choose work, looking at if it's in alignment with you. Number two is your skill set. Does it fit with the skills you already have? Great. And if it doesn't, does it fit with a skill set that you're looking to grow and develop? Do you want to and do you have the time to give so that you are able to teach those classes effectively and enjoyably. If I am teaching 12 different classes a week and they're all different styles and I'm a new teacher and I need to do sequencing and I'm feeling pulled in all these other directions or competing directions, um, for me, I can feel overwhelmed and as though I didn't teach the best class I could. And I would rather teach less classes or more similar classes um, and do them well and, and develop that skill and grow at that. Um, so that's another consideration. Now let's talk about logistics. What I first mentioned, time, place, and payment. Now, some of you might know that you love to teach in the morning and you want to spend your evenings with your family members, or some of you might have a full-time job and only want to teach on the weekend or in the evening. So finding something that fits for you logistically that way. And then again, something that is within your reach. Um, there were times when I first started where I would commute a full hour on the SkyTrain uh, to teach because I just wanted to teach and I loved it. And if you have that time and that energy and that love, absolutely. However, if you are debating in between um, different work opportunities, or if you know it's just going to not work for you, that, that it's not going to be energetically or time management uh, wise effective, then look at how close that place or where it is um, relative to what works for your schedule. 
And then of course, uh, this is the business of yoga, so payment. Is it going to be in alignment with your experience, with your expertise? Are they offering you a salary that feels honorable and that fits for you? Um, and if not, is it negotiable? Or are you willing, do you want to work for that amount? I don't discourage you from being flexible. However, I also encourage you to honor your worth. If you know that your minimum is a certain amount per hour, then absolutely honor your minimum and let them know that. If the work is not meant to be for you, that's okay. And the work that you are meant to find will come your way. I hope these three tips have been helpful. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.